Hey everybody, Josh here, Nugent's Outdoors. I've got something really awesome to show you today. I'm just going to get right into it because I'm really excited to show you. What we have here is my Defiance Action. So I'm going to get this out, move this box out of the way, and we're going to do some gun talk. All right, so here you have it. This is what you get when you order a Defiance machine action. Um, back in about February, late February, and now it's late July. Um, so it's about a five month lead time for one of these actions, especially if you're adding something like the nitride that I did that adds this uh, flat black color. Um, I did that because this is going to be my hunting rifle, so I didn't want it to be shiny. Um, so let's basically get into the action. Um, I ordered the Defiance Deviant GA Hunter. Um, when I ordered this, I don't even think this was an option. I think it came out kind of a little bit after I ordered. Um, but they were very accommodating and got this built for me. Um, when I called back and said that this is what I wanted. Uh, my first order was for the regular Hunter. And I liked that better than the Ultralight, which was going to be my other option. I was kind of stuck a little bit between those two. Um, I wanted something light, and I wanted something for hunting, so I went with the Hunter, which obviously makes sense. The Hunter has a, a connector here that connects the front to the rear. And then the Ultralight only has one rail slot in the back. And I believe two in the front. Two or three um, and I didn't like that because I didn't like the limited scope uh, placement on that so I went with the hunter and then eventually this because it's almost like a cross between the hunter and the ultralight um, I got a custom serial number uh, they do that for free for you um, I also went with the heavy duty tang. My bolt release, I did a blind hole for that, so there's no hole in the top. Also for my tang, I did a blind hole. I didn't like the way the hole looked through the top like every other gun, so I asked for that, which they accommodate. Um, unlike... Unlike factory actions, your recoil lug is machined in and not bolted on, which is a nice feature, one less thing to uh, move. Um, I did the Wyatt Magwell. And that's about it for the action portion for my bolt I did the uh, the second deepest fluting not the deepest um, I didn't really like the point on the deepest fluting so this was my favorite option um, I did the flat um, bolt nose. I didn't want them recessed. This has the Mini 16 extractor. Um, these bolts are made out of one piece so you don't have to worry about your weld ever coming loose on your bolt handle which is nice. Um, they're just all around a good product. Uh, I did the extra long tactical bolt nom more room to grab and now I'll put it together so you guys can see it all together
and I don't know if I said before, but like I said, this is going to be for uh, 300 Remington Ultramag. Um, I know a lot of people are going with the 6.5 Creedmoors and things of that nature now, but um, I'm not jumping on that bandwagon just yet. I wanted something for for hunting and maybe eventually doing some some competitions. So I felt like that that would be a good uh, mix between the two for the uh, 300 Ultramag. But um, definitely a quality piece. Smooth as butter. No binding, no slop. Absolutely. I mean, barely any movement right here, guys. All the way out on a long action. So if you're going to order action, I would highly recommend Defiance Machine out of Columbia Falls, Montana. Um, this will be going on, or however you want to say it, this will be matched up with my Proof Research Barrel Carbon Fiber Wrapped. It's a 26 inch, 1 in 10 twist. Um, and I'll give you an update when that's done too. So. Uh, my next update will be with these two together and um, that's going to be awesome guys. Uh, as far as a stock, I'm not sure, it'll probably be a manners of some sort, uh, Timney Trigger. Um, I haven't decided what scope I want yet, it's going to either be a uh, loophole VX6 HD or a Vortex Viper HD or Razor Vortex Razor HD. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot a question and I'll be glad to answer you. Um, this weekend I'll be going out to the range with the Bushmaster because I know some of you have been waiting for that video for a while so I can't wait to show you that with the um, shooting consistency and accuracy on that video for you uh, I gotta load up some rounds and I'll, uh, I'll go to the range this weekend um, hope everybody's having a great week and I'll see you around